And then when something occurs that makes you realize, oh, the most likely scenario is not it, you've got B, C, and D in your head, you, yeah. you're able to adapt. And so AI just goes back and says, when you say, no, that's not the right answer, it goes back and then finds the set most, second most likely answer, or the third most likely answer, right? It does it iteratively, one by one. The human brain, the way I'm talking about it, is we need to do it all at once, make a judgment call as to the most likely scenario, you know, and, and then from there, we're, we, we're also ready to handle other scenarios if it turns out to be different. Well, That's why I think it's a distinction. Here's one thing I'd like to know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that, but first I'm, I want to talk about this. One. Something that I'm not really familiar with, it'd be really interesting to study, like how does a human brain process information? I don't really know. And is that similar to the way AI does it? I don't know that. It'd be kind of really interesting to, to learn that, you know? Okay, so I'm not an expert in this, but I did hear, <laughs> I heard a YouTube video this week, so obviously yeah, I'm, YouTube, I'm an expert. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, but one of the interesting things they said was, you know, the brain doesn't fire linearly, lin linearly in as far as the cells in it. Um, they fire in clumps, like oh, um, uh, like a, a, a cell of, of, of uh, neurons uh, or whatever that, that, that fire. So it could be something related to, uh, scent, something related to memory, something related to physical activity, whatever. And they fire as a group, which is one of the reasons why we're so able to make um, connections that seem out of whack, that go across yeah. things that aren't logical, yeah. right? Uh, and so the, and the idea would be that right now, AI doesn't really do that very well. It is a very linear thinking. So if you really wanted to get it to think more like a human, you would have it have fire in different directions, but connect them so that when this triggers, it kind of goes off in multiple directions at once. 